Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder 2, one of the most relentless killing machines that I have recently played, which is also a lot of fun. And that is the German anti-tank missile carrier, the Waffenträger Wiesel 1A2 Tau, as it is its German name, which sits in the tech tree at rank 6 with a battle rating of 9.0. And let's just quickly go over the stats while the intro is kind of running in the background. You're looking at a very fast tank with a horsepower to ton ratio of 30, 87 horsepower for a 2.9 ton tank. Top speed is 80 km per hour and you're in reverse still 30. It turns really fast because it has barely any armor, only 8 mm of steel. And let's talk about the weaponry. You have a light machine gun which you can use to for example shoot up certain fences to allow your missiles to go through. And you have the BGM-71 Tau ATGM launcher. Overall you have 8 of them and let's just quickly go over them. The standard tow tube has 800 millimeters of penetration with a top speed of 329 meters per second and 3.75 kilometers of range, which is already pretty good but performs poorly versus tanks with era protection. But therefore, already as a tier 1 upgrade, you have the tow 2A, which is a tandem warhead, so it absolutely has the same statistics. At the stat card but ignores basically your protection and a little bit of a disappointment which you kind of could see in the background was the tow 2b which is a top-down missile with only a hundred millimeters of penetration and a bit slower velocity with 309 meters per second but still 3.75 kilometers of range so my weapon of choice is from now on the tow 2a and yeah as you can see in the background it's a lot of fun and this gameplay was it this was what i played to really completely convince myself that is this is an absolute unforgiving murder machine but you have to use it the correct way and so on normandy i rush the enemy's closest cap point c and i just wanna hack through their forces like orcs slash through elves at least in Lord of the Rings, but that's a different story. Anyway, I don't expect them to expect me. <laughs> so I absolutely go for it. And again, you can see the speed and also how tiny this thing is. And it's completely cladded in bushes. So this will come in handy later. This is a full battle and also not just one of the most successful recent battles that I had, but also a really fun battle. And uh, I guess I'll receive a bit of flack for how I play, but honestly, I couldn't care less. So uh, I was thinking about going up this ramp, but that would have been a little bit too enthusiastic. So um, I go here and just look how tiny this tank is. Yeah, I'm completely safe from uh, visual detection here. And uh, serving here. No, there is nobody. Let's go there. Okay. So the enemies have captured C. And look, they don't expect me here. They're not even looking here. So I have just all the time in the world to scout them and to pick the right target. And my first uh, customer of the day should be this XM1. But that was um, not working out for me. I thought I could fire over it, but you're actually straight looking from the launcher. So a few centimeters higher would have done the trick. But he's distracted. But just as he accelerated, I mess up here a little bit the lead, but it doesn't really matter. He is immobilized. I'm in cover. He has no idea that I'm here still. And then Stritzforden 9040B actually kills him. And that's already my second kill assist you think i'm leaning back and just um let things calm down a bit oh no i'm really going for it i'm going into the cap and i want to kill every tank that is still around here but funnily enough my team has gone with me and they've killed everything that is here while also my team is completely in control over a and encircles b from two sides yeah, that is one of those matches where the team really goes for it. And I just, it's its just one of those experiences and observations that I made for uh, quite a while. That whenever one nation gets new toys, the most dedicated and veteran players 
really go for it first and they are very good players on average and so you get those absolute steamrolls and um, yeah sometimes it's the USA then it's the Soviet Union then it's Germany next patch it's Britain and so forth and then you get always the complaints from those who had the fun previously so here being the good guy repairing the Leo 2A4 while he still recovers some true at least he now in theory can shoot back and yeah it pays off so here I'm in perfect cover so my crew is behind the house while only the launcher is exposed and this makes this thing so evil so nasty it looks like a bush it has the size of a bush it smells like a bush i guess but honestly it kills and here the american 20 millimeter aa sets me on fire but that's about it and uh, yeah he just accelerated in time to get away doesn't really matter we're still in the cap we are recovering ammunition and we are repairing faster and the crew well it's a bit in simpson mode i guess but that's just fine by me let's quickly talk about the rest of the statistics because they're also pretty good the turret traverse and elevation is both 30 degrees per second which is not bad but outstanding is the depression of the launcher of 20 degrees and also 20 degrees of elevation and the reload is 10 seconds for a fully trained ace crew yeah and this guy also didn't expect me here but there is only one tiny downside compared to the Wiesel 1A4 and that is that the thermal imaging is not high resolution quality I think it's first generation um, maybe early second generation I don't know can't really say what it is and yeah the 1a4 has better one i've been told and there was also massive lag in the game i've been told that it was apparently tied to the um, launcher system and so we have to deal with this come on where are you okay there we go and again another kill now if you think that this is spawn killing don't blame me for gaijin's map design but also it's now for us to seal the deal it's now on us to kill the enemies wherever we can because we have played all the objectives and it's a tiny map and i don't want to be the honorable fool no i'm relentless and i want to get all the kills so here i was a bit cautious and i expected the enemies a bit more to push so i wanted to just simply recover some ammunition because i'm down to only three atgms and yeah better have more and don't need them rather than to need them and not have them it's, it's the same story with silver lines trust me <laughs> and for a moment we could enjoy the sound of silence beautiful scenery and just before I could recover all the ammunition I spotted a new customer of the day and again I'm in this filthy position he has no idea that I'm here and the tandem warhead just seals the deal it's beautiful <laughs> and that is kill number seven And there we go full of ammo i go back again to the front end so an open field where there are bushes where there are places to hide this thing is absolutely evil uh, a lot of fun and i highly recommend it but you have to train with it and especially i think if you have uh, all three of those weasel variants in combination they just complement each other this one kills everything that there is the 20 millimeter just can eat through all the light tanks and uh, the ocelot actually not strictly speaking a weasel variant but you get the idea can shoot down helicopters and aircraft alike and again this guy had no chance of killing me because i was in cover and my yeah my crew is still in simpson mode i guess anyway that was kill number eight 
Now there are even more targets that are busy by my team. I decided to shoot at the tank. And yeah, that was not as successful as I hoped. But I have all the time in the world to reload and decide to go for the ammunition in the back of the turret. Missiles out. And profits in. And that is kill number 9. And again, just before I could reload, yeah, here the PGZ09 got killed as well. And for me, this battle could have continued all day long. I, I guess if you're winning on the winning side, it's always nice, but that has been it. And look at this. One zone captured, seven kill assists, nine kills, and we won the game. So let's look at the profit side. And yeah... 96,000 silver lines and 7,200 RP for a fantastic battle with survivor and heavy metal hero. I couldn't really ask for more. And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like if it did. For me, it means the world. For you, it's just a click. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more. And as usual, we will see each other on the waves in the skies and on the battlefields of War Thunder.